Hello YouTube, and it's the Formicariums here again. This is the third video of the Formicariums. Uh, basically, this is similar to the first one, but it hasn't got an outworld directly on top. Um, so you've got the magnet, magnet magnetic uh, sheet in screen. I don't believe in using um what do you call it this silicone um I don't really think I need it because the cuts are that straight on mine you can see sort of you can't not really any ants can get out of there unless they're like fleas smaller than fleas so yeah um as it is handcrafted, everything is done, and you, you, it's impossible to get the most identical one every time. So, obviously, each one will be different. Um, the outworld on this is basically, as you can see, you've got the test tube, which I can sort of show you. One second guys, basically I'm not pushing it too hard because I can't even get a grip of it with the camera but there's the test tube, it does go on a bit further, I just can't avoid pushing it while I've got the camera in my hand. Also, you've got mini outworlds, this is the basic outworld, it's not the best but that's the reason why we're not charging £250. Um, as you can see, those stones. Obviously, you will get um, some substrate for this, so you can have, have sand. You can have them little stones there. You can have black stones, and uh, basically, what you can do with these ones is, if you put the this little cap on here, if I can. There you go. And then what you do then is slide that on. And then it's a bit awkward, but slide it on there so now you've got the whole whole caboodle and um, if you want the upgraded outworld like the other video then it will cost a bit more but you get my drift um, but yeah I can sort of make quite a lot of these They're, um, about 100, 105 millimeters across and about 160 millimeters down and then you've got the 25 mil in height um, I've not put any hydration chamber on this because obviously I'm guessing you can if you really wanted to you could maybe I don't know use a tray underneath and basically fill the tray with water and just sit the uh, the wire tongue block within it um, and this should soak up the water um, it's basically it really um, yep um, obviously this has got two um, connectors so you can have multiple of outworlds um, I will be working it out where you can actually join another wire tongue block magnetic nest onto here so instead of being charged 700 pound for two two um formicariums with about six outworlds with other companies you won't be charged 700 pound believe me you'll be charged the graft and the items that it cost because i think ant keeping is for everyone and not everyone has a million pounds to spend so yeah guys like and subscribe like I said um, if you like this one let me know 
But the very first one I'm debating whether just to send that to Ant Man UK. Oh yeah guys and remember I've still got this one as well. This one is for small colonies, small ant colonies. Well you can have around I think you got two hundred and fifty ants in it. The um the hole is obviously drilled. Um I've got twenty of these. The port's done. So Alassius Niger are around the same size, can fit through these. Um it's a six mil hole. Um the tubing as well, we can I can supply the tubing. Um it's got air holes if you can see them. And these these uh, bolts and nuts are usually the other way around. I just wanted to try something. Um, basically, it's for the heat mat to go under without fully heating the colony. Plus, it allows airflow to go through this air hole and out of this air hole. But yeah, basically, guys, that's it. Let me know, like, and subscribe. Cheers. Bye bye.